If you want to apply for a passport today, you will need to fill in details, most of which you filled in for your national ID card, which is double effort. Questions linger as to why you have to continue to fill in so many forms in banks and other places when you have a national ID. The problem lies partially in the law itself. We lack a very robust data protection and uh, privacy uh, regulatory regime. The data protection and privacy bill is still before parliament and it has not yet been enacted into law. Certainly this gives challenges in terms of uh, data access what can be accessed and how it can be accessed, but it also um, creates a mistrust within the data sharing regime. So, the National Registration Authority cannot fully share data with the Immigration Directorate for your passport. So, going forward, this is how it's going to be done. You'll be able to have access to your information through our web portal. The, the different agencies that will have been approved to access the information, National ID Register, will have access to this information. But this is in the future. This emerged at a discussion on digital financial sector deepening, examining what India did to harness technology to grow financial inclusion. There wasn't really a you know, grand design to start off with. There were some elements in place. There was a certain set of competencies in place. And there was... Uh, Importantly, a little bit of political will to back it. Until the legal framework is enabled, the filling of forms for all sorts of applications will continue. Even if you have a national ID card. Some of Setumba NTV, business.